You've just enjoyed the song Go Go Go, music and lyrics by Supreme Master Ching Hai, with vocals by Delina and Henry Chuk, during the benefit concert organized by the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association in Washington, D.C., USA, at DAR Constitution Hall in December 1997. A journey through aesthetic realms, music and poetry is the gentle voice of the soul, filled with love and devotion in all circumstances of upheavals and suffering. Poetry and music, as well as love and spirituality, are the melodies from a heart of compassion, resonating earnest benevolence within the universe, between upliftment and submergence, between immensity and confinement between ignorance and enlightenment. Poetry and music are forever the genuine voice of an open heart, bringing humanity beyond a realm of ambiguity to elevate longing souls 
and cultivate the noble spiritual values of human beings. We now invite you to immerse in the stream of sounds in a journey through aesthetic realms through the poems and music by Supreme Master Ching Hai and esteemed artists. spirit and I'm happy that you do and I love you so people ask me how how I've lived till now I told them I don't know I guess they understand how lonely life has been till I begin again the day you took my hand when divine love is found and the depth of love is experienced, the pervasive loneliness in a human's life has come to an end, like a dark room that is instantly brightened in the presence of light. A heart in love rejoices, vast in a love that is pure and unconditional. One spirit is set forever free. And I love you so. People ask me how. How I've lived till now I told them I don't know I guess they understand How lonely life has been Till I begin again The day you took me And yet I know how lonely life can be. The shadows follow me and the nights won't set me free. But I 
true love is the limitless love of the compassionate one, which is expressed through all forms among humankind. That love is all-pervasive and inherent within all beings, a love that is perfectly designed for each individual in this earthly realm. I will forever love you, through all the worlds, through all the lovers, through all the beauties that you so adore. To be in the benevolent embrace of the One, each individual needs to forsake the small self and wholeheartedly seek the One, in search of a blissful universe of oneness. We are the One, and the One is us. You will forever search for the love in yonder, the love in yourself, the love in my lore, that you so adore. When both entities merge in unity, all shall leave the world of duality to return to the love and light of oneness of the original face, Nirvana or Heaven. I will forever love you through all the worlds, through all the lovers, through all the beauties that you so adore. You will forever search for the love in yonder, the love in yourself, the love in my lore that you so adore. The true love you'll find only by my side. When your journey ends, I'll send you my sign. I'll send you my love. I'll send you my light. I will forever love you through all the mothers, through all the lovers, through all the beauties that, that you, you so adore. adore. We do have someone else to thank, and we'd like to do it like musicians do, through music. And it is actually for the person who has inspired the evening. The inspiration, someone had to think of it for us to do it. Someone have to have those, have those thoughts. And we simply would like to say, thank you. A piece of music that you have written, words and music, that we would like to perform for you.
Oscar and five-time Emmy Award winner Bill Conti is one of Hollywood's most sought-after composers and conductors for both film and television. Mr. Conti has been the music director for the internationally televised Academy Awards for 19 times, a record achieved by no other artist in his field. In 1989, he was honored with a star bearing his name on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Bill Conti won an Oscar for Best Original Score for The Right Stuff and received two Oscar nominations for his songs in the James Bond picture, For Your Eyes Only, and the Academy Award winning Best Picture, Rocky. He has scored over 70 feature films, including The Thomas Crown Affair, Private Benjamin, Broadcast News, Baby Boom, Rookie of the Year, The Adventures of Huck Finn, and three The Karate Kid films. His compositions have sold well over 8 million albums. Mr. Bill Conti has also composed some of the most recognizable themes for television broadcast, including those for the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics, World News Tonight, Primetime Live, Nightline, Dynasty, Cagney and Lacey, ABC's Good Morning America, Inside Edition, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, and many more. Mr. Conti graduated with bachelor's and master's degrees at the prestigious Juilliard School of Music in New York. He was also presented with an honorary doctoral degree in music at his alma mater, Louisiana State University. For his immense talents and creative contributions, in 1995, the American Society of Composers, Authors and Publishers recognized Mr. Bill Conti with the Golden Soundtrack Award for Lifetime Achievement. As a tribute to Supreme Master Ching Hai, Mr. Bill Conti arranged and conducted Supreme Master Ching Hai's song, I Will Forever Love You, for the One World of Peace Through Music benefit concert at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles, California, USA on December 18, 1998. Prior to the concert, Mr. Conti shared his thoughts in an interview on December 8, 1998. The idea of uh, using music as a voice for peace, of course, is so much better than, than the use of music for war, because music historically can be used for either because it affects your emotions. Music has always been used to either calm you out, let you seek the more spiritual side of yourself. However, they can beat the drums and also evoke this feeling of going to take another country. Music has the ability to change you because music is the ultimate fantasy. It is not literal. It is not something that you can touch or you can feel or you can see. It enters into you through your ears and you're affected emotionally by music. So the idea of, of using music for peace is so much better than the other ways that we could use music. This special piece that was written by Summer Ching Hai was a piece of music that I have arranged, I think, in a very special way. I know of the powerful words and design and good works that Summer Ching Hai has done. It became much more exciting for me to be a part of a concert for a cause that is, is more than worthy. I mean, I do concerts regularly and the cause is to play music. And, uh, uh, and this one is to play music with a, with a tremendous intention of bringing peace to the world. Can't think of anything better. Following One World of Peace Through Music, Mr. Conti graciously welcomed our association members to his lovely home to reflect upon the concert and conveyed his warm wishes to Supreme Master Ching Hai. The following is an excerpt of this interview with the award-winning conductor on September 15, 2000. We'd like to know uh, more about your experience of the One World of Peace um, through music concert. Well, it was a wonderful experience, of course, and it, it was a memorable night. It really was. I love her poetry and, and the very little that I know of her music I, I enjoyed because I did work with, with One Piece and prepare for the uh, concert, um, it would be nice to do music and poetry 
in one place at one time, like on a CD or in, in a concert. Uh, I think it's worthy of that. I think the chemistry and the harmonies have to be right for something like that to come together, but it would be very exciting to, to do. I remember everyone up being on stage and all the flowers and, and, and all the wonderful people who were there experiencing the end of a, of a, a concert that went well and uh, was received well because it seemed like one of those concerts that uh, was so special because everything just went the way it was supposed to and there was so much love and, and affection from everyone around, from the audience to everyone working backstage, that it was memorable. It makes those memorable, I think it went very well. But every once in a while, there's one that stands out, and of course that one stood out above uh, many others. If I could meet or have the pleasure to be with Summa Ching Hai, I would tell her how the experience that I had was so wonderful, and, and what she's giving to other people is so wonderful that I would have to ask her to take care of herself, to wish her health and, and, and happiness I know that she has, but to, to take care that she can continue doing the good work that she's been doing and to expose herself to as many people as need her exposure. And uh, in her travels to just fly safe and be very careful and healthful. The extraordinary Bill Conti again graced us with his charming presence at the Supreme Master Television Studio, where he talked about his view on what it means to be a true artist. You've created such beautiful, extraordinary music. If people have liked it, then it's been a blessing. It has been a blessing. I o I've only done what I do, but I thank God every day that, that uh, I've been blessed by people being able to hear it because it doesn't have to happen. You could be living anywhere and creating beautiful music by yourself, but it's not about that. You know what I mean? It has to be actually heard. I will forever love you. It's a beautiful tune. How did it feel to have Supreme Master Ching Hai there in the audience? Well, because you knew. You know the presence. You can feel. You don't have to have studied it to know. The people that have it, just have to walk in the room, right? There's no introduction. You can say, well, I'd like to introduce, let me tell you a little bit about, no. Walks in the room. And in her case, everyone gets it. Everyone gets it. You don't have to be a believer of the same denomination to know the special people, that there's a Moses, a Jesus, a Muhammad, and, and not deny their speciality. You don't expect one to go with the other, but they all unanimously go, oh. They bow to the specialness when it's present. And it was present that night. You could, everyone felt it. With Supreme Master Ching Hai, I know. She, she's, she's a phenomenon. You're a true artist. She's a true artist. Uh, explain what that means to be this type of an artist and, and share your feelings about Supreme Master Ching Hai. The soul of an artist, of a true artist, in my opinion, is to be in touch with the divine. When you're put in touch with the divine, that inspiration flows through you and touches the people that are observing the art, feeling the art, touching the art, that puts them in touch with the divine. Very few people can do that. The artist and the craftsman, the person that can write a piece of music, the person that can make the chair, come out and bring the message of the divine, are very special. There is a oneness, that there is that thing that she has, that the great artist has, and shares with humanity is a blessing. It's just a blessing. And no one can tell you how it's done. Mozart was touched. She was, he was touched. Supreme Master Ching Hai was touched. She can't help it. And you got to meet her that evening. Yes, yes. Was that the first time? Yes, it was. And, and she doesn't come here that frequently. No. Enough. Yes. <laughs> she does not come enough. Yes. yes. We're thirsty for more of that. Supreme Master Ching Hai, it has been a pleasure to work with you, for you, in the past. We must do another concert. One world, anywhere. You pick the place, I'll bring the music. A Journey Through Aesthetic Realms, Music and Poetry 
We'll return in just a moment. Coming up next, we will enjoy a heartfelt performance and interview with the famed Italian Canadian soprano, Miss Georgia Fumanti. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Gentle viewers, welcome back to A Journey Through Aesthetic Realms, Music and Poetry. Let us continue today's program with a very special poem, Praised Be the Providence. The grace of the divine embraces the world with blessings and harmony. In all corners of the world, God has lovingly planted the seeds of joy and compassion, blossoming beauties and delights that call for the celebration of life. May the glory of the providence be exalted and continue to shine upon all beings. Praised be the providence, thanks to earth and heavens, to invisible and visible beings, for the grace bestowed upon Supreme Master Television. May this forever be blessed to serve the world for peace and happiness. Thank you all, the circle of friends, a brave staff whose love and dedication have brought joys to countless beings in this life and maybe the next. Thanks to all who share the bliss and support this positive program. From the depth of my heart, may God bless you. And congratulations, multitude of wondrous viewers. Thanks for your loyalty. Thanks for your faith. Wishing you all the best on earth as well as from heaven. With all my love, enjoy. Hello everyone. I'm 
I'm so happy. As happy as you are. And congratulations, multitude of wondrous viewers. Thanks for your loyalty. Thanks for your faith. Wishing you all the best on earth as well as from heaven. With all my love, may God bless you. You have just enjoyed Mr. Bill Conti's musical adaptation of Supreme Master Ching Hai's Praised Be the Providence, as presented by Miss Georgia Fumanti for Supreme Master Television's third anniversary concert titled Rejoicing in Our Green Planet and Peaceful Life. A renowned soprano singer, Georgia Fumanti, has shared the stage with Jose Carreras of the Three Tenors, pop icon Wei Wei, and international Italian rock star Zucchero. Ms. Fumanti has performed for the Beijing Olympics for CCTV, the Special Olympics, the US National Hockey League, and numerous dignitaries including US governors and mayors. Having just returned from a series of sold-out concerts and a TV tour throughout China, Ms. Fumanti recently opened at a concert for multiple Grammy-winning superstar Michael Bolton. She is also a humanitarian, performing in many charity concerts. Ms. Fumanti is the spokesperson for the Quebec Multi-Ethnic Association for the Integration of Persons with Disabilities, or AMEIPH, as well as the World Ambassador for the Cerebral Palsy Association of Quebec. She is also an animal-loving vegetarian. Following her awe-inspiring performance, Ms. Fumanti spoke with us about her unique path to becoming a singer, as well as her affectionate thoughts on Supreme Master Ching Hai and Praised Be the Providence. The following are excerpts from our interview with celebrated soprano Georgia Fumanti. Welcome to Supreme Master Television. We are honored to have you with us today. You have such a beautiful voice. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? 
When I was a little girl, I never said that I want to be a singer. I wanted to be a missionary, a social worker. I wanted to help people. And, and I had this huge vision of humanitarian causes. I wanted to be a very good lawyer to help children. And then I, I was in the voluntary and I discovered at 17 years old that the choir of the town or where I was living needed new voices. So I said, I will go there just for the service, not, not because I have a voice. And, and that night I discovered that I had a, this kind of voice. <laughs> so everything started to change. And in the beginning I was questioning myself because I didn't want to be an entertainer. I wanted to do something for the people. And it took me many years. I, I studied law, I tried to do many other things. And then finally I followed my heart that wanted to sing. That's amazing, that is a different story. Yes, and now I, I believe that uh, music is a powerful way to, to share peace and love, and this is my way. I hope to, to bring something good for the world. And when I was little, like my baby, I had uh, a special grandmother that was used to sing for me, to calm me and to let me sleep. And uh, so my first meeting with music when I was very little and music was a cure for me, for my heart. So now I hope to do the same. and. Uh, uh, through yoga and meditation and many ways to discover myself, I found the courage to, to be a professional singer and to, to go on stage, even if I was a very shy little girl. That's wonderful. <laughs> yes, so I, I really appreciate and, and share the, the vision of uh, Supreme Master Television. It's very important, the message that Supreme Master Television is given to the world. I'm vegetarian, so I believe that it's very important to respect all beings. <laughs> and uh, spirituality is a very important part of my life. This TV is promoting peace and love, so I believe it's very important. We know that you're a vegetarian. Um, how did you start on this path? What led you there? I started 22 years old um, because I was following everybody else's desire, my parents' desire, the society desire, and, and everything that the other thought that was important to be and to do. And I was too far away from myself and my real nature. So through yoga and meditations and, and all many way of searching for myself, I started to find myself again and to find this power inside that everybody has to to listen to our real nature and to follow our soul. So it was very important for me to do all this and to calm my mind and to find myself. And uh, I'm still doing it. And uh, it's very important for my music and for my, my life in everything that I do. You have toured with some of the biggest stars, such as uh, Jose Carreras of the Three Tenors. Of course, to sing with Jose Carreras was the biggest, biggest one because I'm a soprano, but I don't sing opera. I sing more all the songs that touch my heart. So to be near one of the greatest tenor of the century uh, without microphone in a classic theater was, was really impressive. I was really afraid, but in the same time I said to myself, if God uh, sent me this, it's because it's time for me to be here. And I found the power just without thinking too much and just to be with God and ask him his help, of course, and, uh, and everything then went well. And, you know, I was really afraid in my mind, but in my heart I needed to trust that I was receiving the help, asked to be used from God, and everything was, was very beautiful, and we sang together. We did like seven concerts, and I hope we touched many hearts. It must have been a really wonderful experience. Yes, it was. But every time I, I sing, no matter what it, what it is, of course, the big stages are beautiful, but 
every time I just ask uh, to share the, the love for music uh, with the hearts that are listening. That's beautiful. Yeah, every time is important. <laughs> At Supreme Master Television's third anniversary concert, you sang Praise Be the Providence, a poem written by Supreme Master Ching Hai and set to music by Oscar and Emmy Award winning uh, Bill Conti. Can you share your thoughts about this song? Yeah, the melody is very simple and beautiful and, and the lyrics, of course, are very inspiring. So my English is not perfect English because I'm, I'm born in Italy and I grew up there and it's just four years that I'm speaking this language. Oh, but wonderful. I believe that music is so universal and we can go behind the, the words the vibration of, of the sound and the words, even if you don't understand the meaning, and in this case, the meaning of, of the lyrics are so peaceful, but you can feel even if you don't understand. So it was, it was a beautiful honor to, to sing this song. So your thoughts about uh, Supreme Master Jing Hai is an artist also, after you've heard some of her other uh, creations? I was really impressed by, by her beautiful voice and uh, her simple way to sing, it's really beautiful and I believe that music can be a very powerful instrument to bring peace, so I'm, I'm very happy that many other people have the same vision that I have. Like uh, yeah. all your life you seem to have had this inspiration to, to share something good with the world. Yes, it's definitely what brought me on stage. Finally, I understood that you can touch a song, but it's very important that a vibration and a song can, can help and can heal. So I hope to do my music in the same way and to share this passion and this vision with many, many hearts around the world. If you had a chance to uh, speak to Supreme Master Ching Hai, uh, what would you tell her? I would love to have the honor to meet her and to talk with her. She's doing such a beautiful job, so it's beautiful that a woman can, can be so respected and bring so much joy and I really love her humanitarian work too and all the art that she's doing. I love animals like she loves animals and I, I really uh, respect her for all the help that she's doing and uh, all the inspiring that she's doing for all many people around the world. And lastly, what are your thoughts about today's concert? I was really impressed by the differences from India to Egypt and to uh, Asia and to Italian. <laughs> so w many people from all over the world uh, celebrating and, and bringing out our talents to, to celebrate this third anniversary. So it was really beautiful and the food was really good. <laughs> and uh, the dresses was so colorful, everybody has beautiful dresses, so it was really beautiful and peaceful and there were beautiful smells in the air. I will try to read more about Supreme Master Television and all this beautiful organization. Earlier in our program, you've enjoyed And I Love You So sung by Supreme Master Ching Hai during an international gathering with our association members in South Korea in 1998. This well-loved song was written, lyrics and music, by famed singer-songwriter Don McLean. Following that was the recital of I Will Forever Love You, a poem written by Supreme Master Ching Hai and excerpted from the poetry collection The Dream of a Butterfly. Next was the song, I Will Forever Love You, with music and lyrics by Supreme Master Ching Hai and orchestral arrangement by Oscar and Emmy Award-winning composer, Mr. Bill Conti. It was performed by Miss Carrie Walsh, Miss Anne-Marie Ketchum, Miss Nicole Campbell, Pasadena Boys Choir, and the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association Adult and Children's Choir at the benefit concert, One World of Peace Through Music, at the Shrine Auditorium, Los Angeles, California, USA, in December 1998. We also enjoyed talks with Mr. Bill Conti himself, before and after the One World of Peace Through Music concert, as well as in Supreme Master Television's studio. 
Next, we featured the special poem, Praised Be the Providence, written and recited by Supreme Master Ching Hai, who, in spirit of peace, created Supreme Master Television to offer constructive programming around the globe. In light of Supreme Master Television's global launch on November 16, 2007, Supreme Master Ching Hai specially penned the poem, Praised Be the Providence. Following that was a song adaptation by the legendary Bill Conti. Mr. Conti's deep sincerity towards Supreme Master Ching Hai was felt through a touching surprise as he creatively wove in her actual reading of the poem in the middle of the song. Grammy Award winner Clark Germain orchestrated the music, and international soprano Georgia Fumanti performed the magnificent piece at Supreme Master Television's third anniversary concert entitled Rejoicing in Our Green Planet and Peaceful Life. The program concluded with a heartwarming interview with Miss Georgia Fumanti. We are deeply thankful for Supreme Master Ching Hai for her uplifting poetry and music. Such magnificent artistic creations from an enlightened master bring all blessed listeners closer to the pure love of God. Our sincere appreciation goes to Mr. Bill Conti and Miss Georgia Fumanti for offering your amazing musical talents to the world, wishing you abundant health and contentment as your melodious hearts continue to brighten the lives of others. And I love you so People ask me how How I've lived till now I tell them I don't know I guess they understand How long we lie Till I begin again the day you took my hand. And yet I know how lonely life can be. The shadow. My spirit and I'm happy that you do and I love you so people ask me how, how I've lived till now I tell them I don't know I guess they understand how lonely life has been till I begin again the day you took my hand. Precious viewers, thank you for your pleasant company on today's journey through aesthetic realms, music and poetry. 
May heaven's blessings fill your lives with happiness and beauty. Now, stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Vegetarian Elite. Farewell for now. And I love you so People ask me how How I've lived till now I told them I don't know I guess they understand How lonely life has been Till I begin again the day you took my hand And yet I know how lonely life can be the shadow rừng gấm thu nghiêng cánh lúa vàng lòng ơi còn dồn sóng đà giang rừng gấm thu nghiêng cánh lúa vàng lòng ơi còn dồn sóng For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash mp.